In this lesson, we will start to add some um, cross sections and callouts and details. So let's uh, go to a main floor. Let's say we want to do a, a, a building section, then a wall section, and then some callouts and details. Okay, some really neat stuff you can do with 3D as well. So let's start by making a section by using our section tool. We'll make a building section that goes all the way across to start with. Okay, escape, escape. That creates a section over here. Okay, under building section. Now, when you draw a section, you should pay attention to whether you're using a wall section or building section over here or call out. So we've made a building section. When it gets put on a sheet, it'll get populated with some numbers. First thing I usually do is go in and adjust my crop region. Okay, Change my detail level to be fine detail. We're going to see a little bit more detail with the joists and the beams, etc. And then I might turn my crop region off. Actually, I got to turn it on because I got to go up higher. Let's turn that crop region back on. And pick on it and drag it up. And still not high enough to catch the upper part of that. And that'll do for now. And then I can turn my crop region off. Now from here, I might want to make a callout. So I'm going to go up to my view. And I'm going to say I'm going to create a callout. I'm going to, going to create a callout, which is a detail callout. And I'm just going to do a box around this edge over here. Okay, zoom in a little bit, pick on the edge of this and then drag my bubble out of the way a little bit. Pull this guy off here, click out. Now, if I double click, I'll open up that callout detail, which is going to be positioned over here. There it is right there. Okay, and now I can turn the crop region on or off on there. Maybe I'll turn the crop region off in this particular view. And now I can do another callout within that callout of maybe this area over here. Zoom in a little bit, grab this guy. And drag it over, click out, double click. Now I'm in on that detail. From here, you can go in and add detail components. We probably want to change the scale of this to be about, you know, 1 to 10 or 1 to 20. Get a much better view of it, bigger scale. Okay. Zoom in so that can be placed on a sheet. And then we have our other call out over here. This one can probably be at, you know, 1 to 20 or 1 to 50 maybe. 1 to 50 in this view. And our original section that we did can probably stay at 1 to 100. So let's create a new sheet and let's add those um, call outs and sections onto our sheet. So down here... A new sheet. Use our same title block. And let's place that cross section on there. The building section. Now maybe we can bump that up to be 1 to 50. Let's see if there's room on the sheet. I think there is. Let's pick on this view. And let's change the scale of that view to be 1 to 50. So let's use our shift key and nudge that guy over. I think in this case, it might be easier to just drag that guy down instead of nudging it. I think I'll just leave it right in the middle because I don't think I'm going to have room for too much else on there. And that's not too bad. Take this, 
stretch that guy over and pull this guy back. Over there. And hit escape. Let's make another sheet for the rest of our callouts. New sheet. Good. And let's grab our detail zero. We can rename these after the fact. Click on there. And grab our other callout. And maybe place it over there. I think I'm going to change the scale of this guy. Let's pick on this detail. I can change it from within the view, or I can pick it on here and say, you know what, let's try for 1 to 20. It's going to get bigger, but I think I'll have room. And not too bad. Ooh, too big. Let's see where that goes. Oh, pretty close. Tell you what. Nudging it down. Oh, actually fits. So if I go back to that section zero, open it up, and then just pan along here. You can probably grab this grid line and pull it down. Gives me a bit more room on my sheet. And then pan over here. It's not too bad. Let's rename uh, this guy to be elevations. Let's rename this guy to be building section. And we'll rename this last one to be uh, details. Oops. And hit OK. So we've got our main floor and foundation plan over there. We've got our um, second floor and roof plan over here. We've got our building section. We've got our elevations. And we've got our detail sheet over here. Now from here we could go in and create some drafting views and some views with some text and notes and all kinds of stuff. We can add detail components by going into these views and then adding detail components to our structural project by bringing those in. We've got we've had some uh, lessons earlier on that. And the last thing I want to do in this lesson is just to create a couple of 3D views and we'll make a new sheet and put some 3D views on there.